Never Stop Learning, week 241. We're gonna take a quick look at how to work with color swatches in your Creative Cloud libraries for Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so if you take a look over here on the right, I already have my swatches panel and my libraries panel up. If you need to bring yours up, just go into the window menu, scroll down and you'll see libraries and swatches. All right, I'm gonna hit escape. What I want to do is create a couple different colors to play with. So I'm going to hit the M key on my keyboard, draw just a basic square, hold down the shift key. All right, now for the fill, I'm going to come into the swatches panel and add this dark blue. All right, I'll just get rid of that stroke. Now I'm going to hit the V key to grab my selection tool, option, click and drag, hold down the shift key, and then release. All right, for this one, I'm going to fill it in with a light blue square and I'm gonna create a blend. So you're just gonna see some workflow stuff here. W key brings up the blend tool, click and click. Now I have a smooth transition here. So I'm gonna double click on this guy, preview, switch this over to maybe like two steps. All right, that looks pretty cool. I'll click okay. Now I need to expand this. So object, expand, click okay. And I'd also like to ungroup these guys. All right, so now I have these different shapes all independent. Now, now that I have this guy targeted over here in the swatches panel, I have access to this guy, new swatch. When I click on that, I have the new swatch options. First, I could change the name of the swatch, but I'm gonna leave it uh, as it is for now. In my workflow, I like to work with global swatches, so I'll turn this guy on. Make any other changes you need to, but the one I wanted to point out is this guy down here at the bottom. You want to make sure you have this guy checked, add to my library. Over here on the right, click on this drop down menu and you could also create a new library or choose from an existing library in the list. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to click OK and that's going to create a new swatch over here in my Creative Cloud libraries. What's going to help me out with this is if I jump into a new document, notice I don't have access to that new color in my swatches panel but I do have access to it over here in my Creative Cloud Libraries panel. All right, I'm gonna jump back to that original document. Now, another way to add to this uh, Creative Cloud Library is you target a new swatch. Notice over here in the Libraries panel, at the bottom, we have this button here, and this is gonna add the new fill color that you have targeted. When I click on that, it's gonna add that color directly in there. So that's a quick way to create one it's just you don't have access to those different features. All right, so depending on your workflow, you can pick and choose which one you wanna use. All right, another thing is if you select all of these objects, you could create a color group from all of these at once. Back in the swatches panel, right here at the bottom, new color group. Clicking on this once is gonna give us a new color group options. I'm gonna be able to name my color group, but what I wanted to show you guys is this option here, selected artwork. You wanna make sure this one's checked. And in my workflow, I like to convert process to global. And if I have any tints, I wanna make sure I have swatches for those as well. I'll click okay to accept that. And now I have this new color group loaded in my swatches panel. I'm gonna target the entire group by clicking on that little folder icon. And now I have access to this icon at the bottom of the swatches panel. This is gonna add these swatches down here into my Creative Cloud libraries. Again, if I switch over to a new document, Notice I don't have access to them in my swatches panel, but I do have access to them right here in my Creative Cloud libraries. So I have access to them in any machine that I sign in to my Creative Cloud username. And there you have it folks, that's a quick look at how to work with your color swatches in your Creative Cloud libraries in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.